this one thing that I'm going to talk about is literally, okay, literally going to save your trading career. And what I mean by save your trading career is that it's going to prolong your time in the game. And the longer that you're in the game, the more screen time that you have, the more experiences that you acquire, the more setups that you go through, the more wins that you have, and the more losses that you also have. So the whole key to this game of trading, right? If you want to do this long term, and I'm not saying that you need to you know, quit your job and do this full time. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is that if you want to do it for the long haul, meaning that, you know, you let's say you work a nine to five, but you have an extra hour, uh, two hours in the day, maybe two to three days a week. If you want to continue to uh, to be able to trade the markets in conjunction with your nine to five, or let's say that maybe you do want to build up um, your account size to where maybe you can have the freedom to leave your job and sort of focus on this full time that one thing that's going to literally save your trading career is having patience, okay? As simple as that sounds, when you are dealing with real money, with your money, and you're sitting in front of the computer screen, you're sitting in front of your phone, in front of the tablet, in front of you know your high-tech trading setup, whatever it is that you use to trade on, when you actually sit down and you dive into the charts, and the market is open and you start to see those green bars and those red bars you see your watch list booming on the side maybe you got someone in the discord saying that they just made ten thousand dollars maybe you've seen someone on twitter that's saying that you know they just made super fat gains and something is going to the moon okay having patience is going to save you and i'm going to give you a real life example happened to me today i had to literally take one two minutes and actually check myself you know mentally and be like this is not the trade setup you are just starting to be impatient so here's what happened right off of the bell i had a uh, break on a pivot that was on amazon i put that in the discord if you guys are not a member of my discord please join the discord that link is down in the description box below so I had just got off of a very, very quick scalp on Amazon, and Tesla was also another stock because Tesla has been strong, as we all know. Tesla is another stock that I was watching, and I was looking for the break to the top side. So pre-market, we did have this nice big run-up here. Um, you know, we touched highs of 1250. I also knew that 1250, a lot of expirations, uh, or a lot of uh, 1250 strikes with tomorrow's expiration being Friday, were on the option flow. I already knew that. Okay, so I have the green line here marked out as the pre-market highs or as yesterday's highs. Was it yesterday's highs as well? Let me, let me check here. No, pre-market highs. Okay, so pre-market high of 12.50. Let me make sure you guys can see this. Okay. Pre-market high of 12.50. I also have this white trend line here. This is where we kind of touched an hour before the market opened. This was the last high that we made. That was 12.43. Let's call it 12.44 for the sake of the video, okay? This candle here, this red candle uh, is 6 a.m. candle. This candle here with a little bit of a topping tail here is at 7 a.m. This was the candle that I was watching, okay? That candle that I was watching, the reason that I was watching it, okay, the reason that I was watching it was this, okay? Here's where the patience started to really set in, okay? Where I started to get impatient, okay? So I just came off of a winning trade, a great trade on Amazon, and now I'm watching Tesla. I'm focusing on the charts. And I look here at 5 a.m. pre-market, I see 1243.95, I see it touch one time, okay? Market opens up, 6 a.m. candle, I am Pacific Standard Time. Market opens up, we touch it for the second time, we have this big kind of pullback, okay? Pullback into rising support. This was actually a good bounce spot here on the 10-day uh, reclaim, 1226, but that's besides the point. This is a candle that I started to watch and I started to get a little bit impatient. You have to think about it. I'm up an hour before the market. I'm watching uh, the market pre-market. I start trading right off the bell. Normally, you know, within the first 10 to 15 minutes of the market. Okay, so I start watching uh, 
what's going on. I try to enter into my trades normally the first hour to hour and a half that the market is open. So at this point in time, it's getting almost to the point in time where I stop trading just based on my trading plan here. And I start to see Tesla work. I start to see it put in this, you know, start to get green here. I see it bounce off this 10 day moving average. I see it pushing higher. I see it pushing higher. I see it pushing higher. And it was literally almost at this point, okay? 1244 is the break point. I knew that if we could break 1244, potentially we had room to 1250. I was just looking for a couple point scalp. If we got some serious sort of volume and we plowed through 1250, who knows, right? With Tesla, who knows? So it was almost at this point in time here where I was thinking maybe I should just anticipate the 1244 break. Maybe I should anticipate the break, okay? Literally, as I was telling myself that, I was going through the options contracts, I was looking at the premiums, I already had them loaded up, I was ready to click the buy, okay? I was super close and ready to click the buy, okay? I told myself, you know what? How about we go to Starbucks, let's go get a coffee, let's kind of let the market digest, let's see what the market wants to do. And then that little you know, voice in my head said, we could just buy one contract here. Let's just buy one, go get some coffee. Maybe this thing breaks. At that point in time, when that discussion in my head started to happen, I knew that I had to get up and walk away. Why? Because I knew that for one thing, I was starting to get impatient. Two, FOMO was kicking in. The fear of missing out, meaning that, you know, maybe this was going to break and maybe I could have stole two to three, four, five points off of this move if I just uh, went in early, okay? Um, my ego started to kick in where I was like, you know what? Tesla's been strong. It's going to break. I'm watching, you know, the live option feed. I'm getting 1250 uh, calls coming in hand over fist, 1250 calls coming in hand over fist. I was telling myself, you know what? I can just enter here and everything is going to be okay. Literally five minutes later, those contracts that I was going to purchase were trading at around 2050 right? So it was going to cost $2,050 for one contract, very, very close to in the money. I think it was uh, 1250 strikes is what I was looking at. And literally two minutes later, those contracts pulled into 1800 pulled into 1720 automatically, according to my trading plan, I, as soon as I would have entered that trade, I would have flipped over to the five minute time frame. I would have been watching the five minute candles sort of build that, that price action would have closed below my stop. And I would have lost a quick two to $300 within minutes, within minutes. Okay. Just finishing out the rest of the day on Tesla, it never cracked this 1244 area. The rest of the day never cracked this 1244 area. So was there a trade for me? No. According to my trading plan, no. I saved myself two to three hundred dollars on the loss because I walked away from the screen. I told myself that I was just being impatient. This was going against my trading plan. This is FOMO. This is my ego. This is me thinking that Tesla was just going to break through 1250 because of the live options flow. This is a perfect example of thinking instead of reacting. If it would have broke the 1244 and maybe put in one point and then immediately retraced, then that's a failed move. The market would have told me that I was incorrect, okay? If I would have taken this move, I would have been incorrect. I would have lost two, $300 extremely fast and that would have been against my trading plan. It would have been against my setup and there would have been no one to blame but myself. I can't blame the market. Uh, even if this move was to crack the 1244, go up a point and then come in five points, okay, we cut the trade, we move on. At least I took the setup according to my trading plan, okay? If you just start taking plays deviating and letting your ego talk to you and then you know thinking that the price is going higher or thinking about what the stock did yesterday or being impatient or having FOMO or seeing someone else you know put on a trade and it was a winning trade and now all of a sudden you just want to rush into a trade you're going to completely destroy yourself be patient stay patient follow your trading plan have a trading plan and play the market um, you know, play the price action, observe, and then react. 
never guess.